Okay, this is a DL380 Gen 8, uh, replacing the uh, RAID battery or capacitor. It's uh, pretty simple. Take the uh, cover off the top of the server. Then you're going to take the memory card fan shroud out. Just by pinching these two little, little tabs. Then you're going to lift the fan module out by pulling up on this bar. And lift the fan module out. And then if you look right down here, you'll see the battery holder and here's the battery. All you gotta do is lift up on the battery in the back to pull it out of the holder. And this cord is wrapped around here, but if you look, it goes, um, it goes down behind this panel here, all the way to this card right here on this particular unit. So you'll just pull up on it from behind all this and, uh, and slide it out. Uh, you shouldn't have to pull anything else off. If you have to, you, you might need to... Let's see if we can pull this out. I don't, I don't know if this comes out or not. It looks like this is riveted. Oh, I see. Um, you pull this tab and push it this way. You can see there's an eyelet right there. So pull the tab, slide this anchor out. This is the other half of the cage. Just so you can get at the ribbon cables and pull it, pull that cable out from underneath. So, and then run it. If you want, you could also just unplug. These are just the SATA plugs. Just make sure you keep track of which port is which. They do, they are labeled. So, you got port one there and port two here. So you can just pull them off to get them out just so you can get at the cable. Then unplug it, plug the new one in, run it down here, push it back into the holder. The easiest way is just to put it in the front first and just pop it in. Put the cables back into place. Take this holder, slide it in there, it's pretty easy. Take the fan array. Drop it in, push the arm down. Put the fan holder tabs in, the shroud tabs into the fans. Push down on it and then just pinching. That locks it and then you can put the cover back on and you should be good to go.